Hi, and welcome to this clip looking at how we convert concentrations from moles per decimeter cubed to grams per decimeter cubed. This is something that comes up quite a lot in A-level chemistry questions, but it's not always covered particularly deeply in textbooks or for that matter in teaching. I know for, for, for certain that in my lessons I haven't always had time to cover it in the, in the depth that I'd like. So I thought I'd try and address that balance by making a short clip about it. So starting with what you do learn in textbooks and in lessons, n equals b times c is obviously moles equals concentration times volume. And as you'll know, when we deal with volumes in the lab, we're usually measuring in centimetres cubed, not decimeters cubed, so a conversion has to take place. So let's introduce the grams per decimeter cubed idea and where it might come from. Now, as you're probably aware, moles are also linked to mass through molar mass, or MR, or AR, as it's sometimes called. So MR is obviously relative molecular mass, and AR is obviously relative atomic mass. Collectively, they can be called molar mass. Now, you'll notice that I've changed the triangle on a little bit. I want to explain how I've done that. So like I said, you'll be asked to interconvert between these two types of concentration fairly often. So if we take moles equals mass over molar mass, which is how moles, mass and molar mass are connected, and just put in the units, and then change the moles to moles per decimeter cubed and the mass to grams per decimeter cubed, the mathematical connection between them remains the same. So if we cross out moles and mass and now call them concentration, that allows us to do this. So hopefully you can see there's a similar connection going on that you can make use of. So let's try a few examples. So I'll put the conversion triangle there. And I'll let you pause the clip and have a go. Right, so I'm assuming you've had a try of one or two of those. So the first one is concentration in grams per decimeter cubed over molar mass, 15.68 over 98.1 per sulfuric acid, and that gives you 0.1598. Doing exactly the same thing for B, 22.05 over 46 this time for an ethanolic acid, gives you 0 0.4793. And finally, for C, it's 200 divided by this time, 56.1. And this time around you get 3.565 moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, hopefully you found this useful. You can go and try a few now. Thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.